Hi, I'm Michael Berger, and I'd like to take a moment and introduce you to my new book. You see, in this one, there's less reading and more, wait for it, coloring. That's right, it's a coloring book for adults, created especially for you, the corporate market, which makes this different than anything else that's out there. First, take a look at these facts. Five of the top 10 selling books on Amazon last year were coloring books for adults. The largest manufacturer of coloring pencils in the world had a shutdown because they ran out of wood. Now they got three ships running 24 seven just to keep up with demand. But most importantly, science has proven that there is in fact a link between coloring and employee happiness. Research states that coloring reduces stress and it inspires creativity. And engaged stress-free employees are your greatest asset. So is the answer just to revert back to childhood and kindergarten and start drawing pretty flowers and trees and make everything beautiful? Mommy, do you like it? Come on, you can do better than that, and here's how. With Coloring Your Way to Success, you're gonna find 52 motivating business-centric quotes hidden in original artwork. And here's what makes this different than any other coloring book on the market so far, included are 52 discussion sheets that go along with those quotes. The answers your employees give are gonna reveal something about the people you've got working for you. Their ethics, their morality, their strengths, their weaknesses, their willingness to change and adapt. Real insight into their decision-making abilities. And it's all gonna be accomplished through the fun of coloring. Finally, a Monday morning team-building exercise that everyone's gonna show up for and enjoy. Uh, you'll notice there are 52. So, one a week for a one-year program. Here's a quick peek at what you'll find inside. Take this business quote from Babe Ruth. Yeah, that Babe Ruth. Yesterday's home runs don't win today's games. It's a great quote, isn't it? But what does it mean? Well, first, here's what the image might look like as you begin to color. And then here are your questions that go with that quote. First, I give you the quote, and then the author. Yesterday's home runs don't win today's games by Babe Ruth. And then I give you the meaning. Success can be just as detrimental as failure if you become complacent. What are you doing today for the company in your situation? Remember, yesterday's profits can't dictate future revenue. And then we deep dive into the three questions. For example, question one. Business leader and friend of mine, Ross Schaefer, says, we need to behave like a startup company at all times. What are we not doing now as a company that we did when we first launched? How about question two? Complacency can set in without a goal. Name just one thing that would make you work harder. Would it be more money, more vacation time, more recognition? Wouldn't you love to know what your employees' answers to those questions would be? And then how about question three? Look, we all strike out in life and business. What motivates you to get back up and try again? And then for all the quotes, I offer a wrap-up. In this case, from Sony to Kodak, the business world is riddled with examples of companies who rested on their laurels. Don't ever believe your company is too big or too successful not to fail. By the way, Babe Ruth held the record for most home runs at 714, but Babe Ruth also held another record, most strikeouts. So Babe just stepped up to the plate more often than most people. Look, if you want to be successful, clearly, you gotta take a few more swings than your competition. The book is full of 52 specific, one-of-a-kind, motivating quotes from the greatest thinkers and leaders the world has ever known. As far back as 600 BC and Sappho, she was Plato's muse, and her quote about ethics gives us something to think about. Here it is. No honey for me if it comes with a bee. What does that mean? Well, it's a risk-reward ethics question. How would you rate your moral compass? Is it true north, or is it heading south? I also include current thinkers like Dennis Prager, who prefers clarity over agreement. Is that a great line or what? And even Bill Gates understands your unhappiest customer is your greatest source of learning. All of these quotes attach with worksheets designed to motivate, inspire, and engage. So there you have it. And here's to you, coloring your way to success.